In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to filter your tables. And it's going to be an alternative to what you might be used to, which is this huge filter button here. I'm going to show you how to use filter for selection and filter by form. First, I'll do a filter by selection. That's a really quick way to find what you need. So for instance, I'm taking a look here at the products table. And let me scroll over a bit. Let's say that I just wanted to see all the products that were condiments. So what I can do is I can just click in condiments, go up to my home tab, and in sort and filter, I want to choose the filter with the lightning bolt, the one that says selection. I'll go ahead and click on that. And I want all of the records that equal condiments here inside of category. So I just give it a click. And there are all the condiments for records. All right, let me go ahead and toggle that filter. Because conversely, what if I want to see all of the records that are not condiments? One more time, I can click in the category that I want, go back to my selection, and this time I'll choose does not equal condiments. And now I have every other record. All right, let me go back and toggle my filter one more time. All right, so let me scroll over one more time to the categories and filter by selection. So you see here we have the choice of equals, does not equal, contains, and does not contain. All right, let me head on back to my first column here. And the next thing that I want to show you is an advanced filter, and it's called filter by form. So again, in sort and filter, under filter by selection actually is advanced. And I'll go ahead and click on that. I want to make sure first, even though I'm unfiltered right now and I can see that down at the bottom, I want to make sure that I do clear all filters before I get started. And then I'll go back and filter by form. And that opens up another window here. I can see all of the different columns or fields in my table. And then down on the bottom left hand side, I've got look for. And I also have another tab right now that's not enabled that says or. Now I'll show you what that means in a second. But let's say for now that I want to see all of the products that are in the canned meat category. So let me scroll back over again to the categories and I'll click right underneath there. And this time I'm going to choose canned meat. Now once I make a selection here, you'll notice that the or tab down at the bottom is now enabled. So I can click on or if I want to also see another category. So maybe I want to see canned meat or dairy products. So when I click on the drop down, I'll just choose my dairy products. And when I chose a criteria here, notice again down at the bottom I have another or. So every time I choose a new criteria in a new tab, I get another new or tab. I can just keep adding on different filters. All right, so let me take a look to see how that looks. I will toggle my filter and I have four records showing now. Let me scroll over. And yes, they are either canned meat or dairy products. All right, so let me point out one more thing here with the filter by form. I'm going to show you an example. And in this example, maybe I want to see all the canned meat that has a target level. And here's the target level on the left-hand side here. That has a target level of over 60. Or I want to see dairy products. So canned meat, target level over 60, or dairy products. So I'll go back into Advanced and Filter by Form. I'm back here now on my canned meat. Now here's target level over here near the left-hand side. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and type in greater than 60. And when I have different criteria on the same line, that's considered an AND condition. Notice there's no AND tab down here. Everything on the same line is an AND. If it's in a different tab, that makes it an OR condition. All right, so let's see what we have now. When I click on Toggle Filter, now I can see I just have two records. Let me scroll over. So I've got one canned meat and one dairy products. Let me go over to Target Level. I can see that my canned meat is, yes, over 60. And notice that for the dairy products, it's 40. It's not over 60 because the over 60 was just for the canned meat, not for the dairy products. If I also wanted to see the dairy products over 60, I'd have to go into my filter by form, 
go to the tab where dairy products is located and then go into the target level and choose over 60 or greater than 60 here. All right, let me go ahead and toggle the filter, go up to my advanced and clear all my filters. The first way again, I filtered by selection. So I came over here to category, I picked a category, clicked on selection and chose equals. The other way, let me go ahead and toggle my filter here and clear all my filters. The other way was I went into advanced and then filter by form and then here I chose whatever criteria I wanted to see. Again, if I choose multiple criteria on the same line, that's considered and. Or after I go in and add in a criteria, I now have the or tab down here. And I can just go in and add in another criteria to create an or condition. And I'll go ahead and toggle. Just make sure that when you're done, you go into advanced and clear your filters.